Hi there, my name is Janet Branson. I am the two to five year old kid ministry coordinator at Calvary. Prior to starting a family of my own, I worked as a nurse and my absolute favorite part of nursing was connecting with the patients, connecting and caring for them as though they were my own loved one. This week, I want to connect with you. I want to provide some encouragement and education pertaining to our health. It is written in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10, We are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Jesus Christ so we can do the good things he planned for us long ago. We've also heard our body is a temple. I don't know about you, but I often treat my body like a carnival fun house. <sighs> I think it's difficult to talk about health without acknowledging the multi-billion dollar industry that's trying to sell us the key to happiness. We all want to be healthier, whether that's healthier up here, here, or here. Many of us feel hurried and overwhelmed by expectations. Be successful at home and at work. Regardless of your means, have all the things. Look the right way. Be and give everything to your kids. Dictate your schedule around their activities. Read all the books, listen to all the podcasts, have all the right opinions. We give and give ourselves until we're exhausted and depressed. Then we remember, oh yeah, self-care, I have wants and needs too. Hmm. If we are not intentional about how we are going to take care of ourselves and truly invest in our mind, body, and heart, we'll fall into self-care traps. How many of us have revenge procrastinated in bed at night, scrolling Instagram and deciding we need sand cloud towels and more Bomba socks? I have tried disproving this next point, but retail therapy is not therapy. <laughs> this will sound controversial, but if your self-care requires purchasing something, you might be stuck in a self-care trap. This week, let's get intentional about self-care. It will be difficult, but honest. I want to take better care of this masterpiece because I have God's work to do, and so do you. I have chosen four areas of self-care. Sleep, movement, healthy eating, and connection. I feel the need to throw out a disclaimer. I am not a health guru. I may know a lot about the body and health, by and large, but I myself struggle in all the categories mentioned. I literally just ate three mini Kit Kats, a box of Milk Duds, and a Reese's Peanut Butter Pumpkin. Mm. I suppose today my body is the sugar shack. All kidding aside, I want you to know I am walking alongside you in this challenge. Please come back tomorrow where we'll talk about sleep. And please come say hi if you see me at church. I want to know you. You can find me in the preschool wing every Sunday and Wednesday, give or take a few. Have a great day.